It was summer 2002, and 10-year-old River was about to spend his first holiday with his grandparents. River could feel the adventure and mischief in his young bones. Why has River never visited his grandparents before? Wow! Dad! Dad! What? Asked his father. There was a deer! Which one is a white butt? Mule deer or white-tailed deer? It has to be white-tailed, right? I don't know. Grandpa will know. Because my father-in-law knows everything. A few hours later, River was finally in Nez Perce Valley, and his joy was matched only by that of his grandparents. But not everyone shared their elation. Grandpa! <laughs> I saw a deer! It was probably a white-tailed because he had a white butt. Mule deer also have white butts. How can you tell the difference? Wallace. Richard. I want to speak to you in private. River was amazed when he entered the lodge. The walls seemed bigger somehow, and the animals looked alive. Wait here. I've got something for you. But that summer, there was one thing River was forbidden to even think about. To be crystal clear, you were absolutely not allowed to let him anywhere near a gun or anything to do with hunting. Richard, that's impossible. This is a hunting lodge after all. You know what I mean. Will you help me finish it? Days went by, and River couldn't get enough of nature. He already felt it was his best summer yet, but it was about to get even better. That's how he met April and Noah. Hi, I'm River. Ah! Why do I always have to be the animal? <laughs> because you're the youngest. Poor girl. Why? This is what hunters do, isn't it? No, real hunters are ethical. They wouldn't make an animal suffer like this and not even retrieve it afterwards. River kept making the best memories he could that summer. He was also determined to find out more about his mother, as his father and grandfather never spoke of her. I didn't know my mother hunted too. Oh, you found the album. Why do we never talk about her? You'll have to ask your grandfather about that. But you can ask me anything else, sweetheart. But this secret had to wait for another day. Time flew by, and soon the summer was at an end. Wow! Try yelling something. Ahoy! On the last day, they made a new friend and named her Echo. Some summers also brought sadness. Time heals all wounds, and time goes faster if it's spent with good friends. <sighs> I am bored. Do you have a better idea what we should do? River, why does your grandfather have a door to the basement in his office? No idea. He says it's just full of boxes, but he won't open it. <gasps> Mysterious locked basement door. Why don't we try and open it? I've tried. Many times. No luck. Boredom is a natural predator of secrets. Yeah, but you didn't have us. What do you think is really down there? Maybe a hidden man cave with a pool table? <laughs> Maybe my grandfather is a nerd and it's a secret D&D &D lair. Or his serial killer lair. Ah! <gasps> what are you doing here? Solving the mystery of the locked Basement. This one will have to stay a mystery. <laughs> when will you take me hunting? Never. Your father strictly forbade it. Please. Come on, please. He'll never know. But you'll have to promise me something first. You will forever take pride in being an ethical hunter. You'll never stoop to breaking the rules of ethical hunting. 
An ethical hunter knows and obeys the laws, understands that it is not just about what is legal, but also what is honorable and moral, defines unfair advantage as when the game does not have a reasonable chance of escape, makes full use of the hunted animal, cares about and respects all wildlife, measures success not in the quantity of game taken, but by the quality of the chase, knows their limitations and stretches the stalk, not the shot, takes pride in the decisions they make in the field and takes full responsibility for their actions. Only unethical hunters say it's hard being ethical when nobody's watching. And that's how it started. Summer 2010. This year, Wallace and River were about to meet someone special. It's a newborn form. Name him. Hollywood. Sometimes the best part of hunting does not involve killing. Why Hollywood? I'm moving there next year. It's a new beginning for both me and him. Sometimes River would visit during fall to wait for the best hunting season. It was River's first golden moose. He couldn't contain his happiness. Noah, I got him. But some people turn sour when faced with another's happiness. You're lucky your grandfather lets you hunt. Don't worry, your dad will let you soon enough. Then we'll hunt together. Dad says he couldn't shoot a duck if it sat on his nose. <laughs> People sometimes ask me, what went wrong with Noah? But I don't believe people can go wrong. We change, grow up with pain, some with more pain than they can handle. Help! River! April! And that can fester and become something darker and more dangerous. What are you doing? None of your concern. I don't know what you're trying to prove, but you won't shoot shit at night. Besides the fact you can't shoot, don't have a hunting tag, and this is definitely not a legal hunting hour. You snitch on me to dad, and I'll never talk to you again. At that moment, they both knew something huge would happen that night. They just didn't know exactly what. After passing several cold hours, Noah finally sees his chance. And in that moment, his desire to prove himself reached its terrible peak. Okay, I'm calling for help. Please, I need immediate assistance. I'm sorry he hurt you. Little did Noah know how many consequences this would trigger, like his father blaming the wrong person and reaching out to Richard. Somebody that your father-in-law acts like a glorified ranger and involves your son in hunting, but his bragging has now caused my Noah to- Wait! Involves River with what? And now the secret about hunting that was kept for eight years was revealed. I had one condition, one for my son staying here. Absolutely no hunting! I'm an adult. I can make my own decisions. I'll call you an adult when you pay your own rent and taxes. While you live under my roof, you will listen to me.
what seemed like a terrible ending. Your phone magically erased all the contacts again? River. Nurse Ellen was helping me with it, but she said she doesn't know how these old-fashioned phones work. It was just a very long pause. <laughs>